Well, when I was a little boy, uh, my dad would go, you know, my dad and my uncle were in this business. I was fascinated by it. I always knew what I wanted to do. When I grew up, I was, my goal was to be the low boy driver. I thought that, that uh, driving one of those big trucks up and down the road was just absolutely as great as it could get. Road building is in Steve Wright's blood. In 1961, his father Robert and uncle James started Wright Brothers Construction with the purchase of a single bulldozer. Their goal, make a living in an industry they were passionate about. They succeeded, their dream to become a regional heavy civil and highway contractor fulfilled. Today, the company runs a fleet of 300 pieces of heavy equipment, has 350 employees, and provides big grading, excavating, highway and heavy construction services all across the southeastern United States. Steve's leadership during the past decade has been pivotal to the company's growth, but he credits that success to the influence of his father and uncle, as well as to the hard work of his company's employees. Steve Wright is a real man of integrity, and I have seen a tremendous growth in Steve since I've known him for 16 years. Um, I've seen where he sort of rededicated his life and rededicated the purpose of the company several years ago and really took a company that was successful, um, that was started and run by his father and his uncle, and really took it to the next level to be a really a powerful company here in the southeast uh, part of the country. We're very proud that we are a small family business. We have those values that, you know, anybody that wants to can come see anybody in this company. They can meet their owners. and. Uh, and we're very proud of that. It's just a just part, just the way we think it should be. In life and in business, Steve Wright is a straight shooter. He is guided by a strong work ethic, firm faith, humility, and commitment to his family. His company's value proposition is simple. Get the job done and done right. Steve is a great guy. We, I've worked very close with him on many projects. I know he will have the long-term interest of transportation in mind as he starts his new role. I think you know the thing that people probably ought to know about Steve is just his real passion that he has for the industry. I mean he has been in it his whole life. Uh, it's something that he loves. Uh, it's something that he uh, you know loves doing every day. You know, he loves to hunt and shoot and so uh, I think just Steve's Really, his passion is, is something that's really infectious when you're around him, and uh, he's just great to spend time with because of that. Now, Steve joins an elite group by becoming the 2012-2013 ARTBA chairman. He also makes ARTBA history as the first graduate of the association's Young Executive Development Program to become chief elected officer. Steve believes firmly in giving back to an industry that has given him so much. He served as president and continues as a director of the Tennessee Road Builders Association. And the list of his volunteer ARTBA leadership positions over the past 10 years is long and distinguished. In an era of change, Steve's agenda as chairman is straightforward and clear. As the first graduate of the Young Executive Development Program to become chairman, it is very near and dear to my heart. I think it's a great program. I would like to see it expanded and, and, and built upon and give everybody that would like to the opportunity to learn the wonderful things that you can in that program, to become involved in the association, to work in it, and to give back to the industry that has given so much to them. As one of the co-chairs of the RTBA Strategic Planning Committee, I will continue working to implement the major recommendations of the strategic planning report with its special focus on innovation. This includes Transovation Workshop and hosting additional virtual conferences and seminars. After the election, there will be a big debate in Congress about the nation's budget. We will make sure that the transportation industry has a strong voice in that discussion. With the new ARTBA task force, we're going to work to ensure that the MAP 21 bill is properly implemented. That same task force will also work to develop the legislative strategy for the next transportation bill. As a national and state policy advocate for years, Steve is prepared to educate elected officials about the transportation infrastructure challenges facing the nation. 
Steve Wright made a very, very big difference uh, in my career in Congress. I didn't know much about road building other than I knew we need roads and bridges. Steve Wright sat down with me and explained to me what it was like to build a road, what it was like to maintain a road, and more importantly, what it was like if you didn't maintain a road and you had problems. So Steve has helped educate me about the needs for our infrastructure system in this country, and he embodies what's great about America. I would like people to know that we're very, very proud to be a part of this industry. You know, I think that everything that, that happens is touched by the, the highway construction industry. You know, you, your, your strawberries that you eat for supper tonight that came from California wouldn't be possible without the interstate system. And I, I think that our industry has contributed to the wealth and the well-being and the health of, health of this country. And we're very proud to be a part of it. A problem solver and builder of big things. Integrity. Principled leadership. Steve Wright your 2012-2013 ARTBA Chairman.